whoa. Something wrong with the bike. Koreski looks with down. Koreski looks down. The drive chain train off. issues, the chain is the off chain the chain off. ring. Filippo Colombo rides past him, Andreas and rides past him. Drama here in Arisha. Oh, and we've got this short kick now. The pain's going to be there. Andreasen. Andreasen. Andreasen and Filippo Colombo oh, and Alan Haverley. Goretzky still in the, in the race. It looks like Filippo Colombo's coming back. Usain Andreasen. Oh, Goretzky, oh, he's still in the Stands on the pedals. Goretzky stands on the pedals and goes now. He's going to have to chase down Colombo. He's going to have to chase down Andreasen as they head back towards the Grand Hotel in Arisha. It's anyone's bike race with only a half of 100 metres to go. Andreasen leads them on the tarmac. Who's got the sprint to finish off? Two back-to-back -back incredible weekends in Brazil. Simon Andreasen digs deep. Is this going to be his debut? A lead level cross-country Olympic victory. The Danish rider takes it. What a final to this incredible weekend of racing. Look who's at the back, Tom Pickock. He's taking it steady, this first lap back at the back of the front. We have seen this from Pickock in the past, though, in the short track. He knows. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Huge moment for Tom Pickock there. Off the bike, but looks to be unscathed. There's Pickock. So Tom Pickock on the Pinarello with a number 14 on his back, going well. The Pidcock is broken free Ooh. slightly for the first time. There's a bit of daylight between Tom Pidcock and second place. Right here, right now, Tom Pidcock putting on the display. Oh. Looks over the shoulder, sees the hurt. Tom Pidcock stone last at the end of lap one, and he's number one with a bullet. Look how tight this is. Look at the specialised riders coming back towards They're the front back. of the race. Fry and Steger moving towards the Compton Lille now. Look at the speed of Zena Fry back towards the front of this race, and she's wow. bringing Steger with her. I didn't expect this. Steger, Steger going to be close. Steger moves past Fry now. Steger's in the perfect position here. She's got the Compton who's making the effort going long. Cross country racing. This one's going to be one of the tightest yet. Steger moves past the Compton. Fry sends his blood, she moves past her as well. Yeah, the comp's blown. And it's now going to be Steger versus Fry on the final sprint. Specialised against each other. Here we go, Lyra Steger digs deep, Zena Fry digs deep. Who is going to take the win here in Lake Placid as they head up towards the finish line? Lyra Steger takes the win in Lake Placid ahead of Zena Fry. Looking good for Nino. Yeah. Two more laps. Not done yet. Not done yet. No, no, no. The hour mark. It's almost there. But someone who's not going to get nervous in this position is Nino. He's been here. He has been a here. A lot of times. <laughs> so many times. 35 times. 35 <laughs> times, yeah. <laughs> and he won the World Cup. But it's Nino Schurter going for his 36th win. His eighth win in Val de Sole Trentino. Unbelievable. First win of the year. And it's Nino Schurter. Unbelievable from start to finish in that front. Candice Lille with Luan Lecomte to the numbers three and four in the race. Candice Lille now in front of Luane here in the descent. We heard from Candice Lille. She'd been fighting for this for, for years and years with the support of you know, a small team, her, her husband as well. You know, they're washing the bikes. They haven't got big factory support, but a big breakthrough this year. And what an amazing performance so far for Candice Lille. But what a ride. This was the result for the day. We have heard from her before for Candice Lill. Her goal forever was to make the podium. And she's done it today. Candice Lill, third place. Bresky now having a dig on the left-hand side of the track. Schwarzbar hasn't got an answer for it. Blevins just might. Blevins digs deep and pulls past Victor Koretsky at the bottom of the climb. Blevins versus Koretsky. Number one versus number two. Koretsky goes. Viktor Koretsky takes his first win of 2024. Christopher Blevins second. Koretsky and Blevins lining up behind Thomas Litcher. Koretsky starts to sprint. Blevins tucks in behind him. Litcher, there's too many to look at. Koretsky looks over. It's going to be Viktor Koretsky and Christopher Blevins yet again, just as it was in Arasha. That really attacking style. Yeah. Look how hard they're having to work behind her. And it's Lyra Steger who's taking it up, you know. And Peters are can't follow. All the others too scared to follow. If they, if they follow now, they're going to expend a huge amount of energy. So they're all just looking at each other and no one's going to commit. Big game of poker.
all over the bike, full pain face. We're going to see who's going to chase her down, who's got the legs. It's Batten that's going to launch first. Look at Haley Batten and Pauline Ferran Bravo is just riding the bike in front of her. And they're bringing Steger with them. Keller digs, Ferran Bravo digs. Who is going to come out on top? It's going to be Alessandra Keller. Alessandra Keller takes the win ahead of Pauline Ferran Bravo and Haley Batten. What a short track race. Look at her having to dig deep to get back on the back of Alan Havley yeah, on this yeah, climb. Yeah, Havley is a little over yeah. his shoulder. Yeah. He feels that he's stronger here on this climb. Havley really pushing on yeah, now. You yeah. see him look behind, big attack, yeah. and he's putting the hurt on now. This is classic Alan Haverley doing the damage over a longer distance. Alan Haverley takes the UCI Cross Country Olympic World Cup win in Leger. A debut win for him in this format. Last descent. But what a performance breaking away, putting the hurt on lap two. Puck Peters are trying to go with her, but unfortunately had to let the wheel go. Pauline Bravon Bravo, dominant performance breaking away on the second lap of six, getting the gap and making it look relatively easy. What a performance, Bob. Perfect race for her, yeah.